Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to create a quiz on WordPress using the QuizMaker plugin. So I've already installed the plugin. In case you don't have this plugin, you can just uh, go to your plugins and you can click on add new and you can search for QuizMaker and you'll get this plugin. You can uh, remember it uh, with this icon. Okay, so this is the icon of the QuizMaker plugin. Fine. So here we are on the quizzes section. So uh, let me just uh, click on add new. So as soon as you add on add new, it will redirect you to a new page where it allows you to create the quiz. So now there are many options here, general styles, settings, result settings, limitation users, user data, email, certification, integration, all those details are here. And, uh, uh, you know, some of these features will be available only if you are a pro member. Okay, so let's see what exactly are those features. And uh, for, for the testing purpose, what I'll do is I'll just create a general uh, uh, quiz. I'll just uh, create uh, a GK quiz. I'll just name this uh, GK quiz. If I want, I can add a banner image also. So uh, uh, let me see if I've got some image in my media library. Okay, so we have got uh, some of these images uh, which are there. I'll just uh, pick up any of this uh, dummy image for now. I'll just pick this uh, image. I'll just uh, click on it. Okay, so it's uh, this image has come up here. You can have a better banner. You can have uh, some text uh, uh, describing the quiz and all. So that is what up to your uh, your choices uh, that you have. Here again, there's a description box. Okay, this is a GK quiz. So here you can have your description category category of the quiz. Uh, it's uncategorized. So here on the left hand side, we have got uh, qu quiz categories. Uh, if you can see here, so there are question categories also and quiz categories also. So you can uh, select uh, the category of the quiz or add the category quiz uh, uh, from there. Okay. For now, I'm just putting it as uncategorized. Okay. Now here it's asking me to add questions. So now these are the questions which are already added by me. Uh, if you have not added any question, you'll require to create questions here. So basically, it's a, it's a good uh, interface here where you can select uh, questions and reuse the questions in different quizzes. This is one good thing about this specific quiz. Uh, I can see where uh, um, some of the past uh, quiz plugins also we have examined in, uh, in our, on our channel. You can go through those videos also. There the system is not uh, segregated. So, uh, you know, in this, the, since the system is segregated, you can use the questions uh, from the repository of the questions and you can use it on multiple quizzes which are there. Okay. So basically when I click on uh, add question, I get redirected to the questions uh, tab which is there here uh, where I can add a new question uh, which is there with the options and all okay so uh, we'll, we'll just add one question so that you know how you can add uh, the questions so let me just uh, write which is the national bird of india okay so this is uh, the question uh, question type is it radio multiple select we can select that multiple checkbox we can have drop down text short text number date true or false so we can let's let's try the true and false uh, question here uh, so is peacock the national bird of india okay so basically we'll we'll have this question as true or false so one answer is true is it uh, the answer uh, yes it is correct so i'll have to click here on the correct checkbox or whatever is correct you can uh, put it as a correct checkbox now here there are uh, two more options uh, uh, there is like a way but uh, you can ha give different points you can give uh, different points uh, to uh, you know different uh, weightage to each of these questions and uh, there is also this keyword tab um, you know this is again uh, something which comes under the pro feature it's not available here question may again you can't change it it has to be uh, you know uh, standard it's just going to be one 
if you want to change it you will have to go with the pro version okay and categorized uh, so it's an categorized uh, question question tags also come under the pro version okay hide this question from the front front end no influence to score no influence to score is basically if you are asking questions such as what are what is your name what are your gender what is your gender okay what is your location all those questions they will come under no influence uh, uh, to score because uh, they they will not have any way for correct or wrong answer so basically those type of questions can come under uh, that setting advanced setting uh, let me just click on advanced setting here they've got all the advanced uh, setting question limits let's see what exactly it is add extra uh, question hints uh, sorry uh, add extra information that can uh, help the user about the question so basically you can describe the question or give some hint question explanation you can give detailed explanation uh, message for wrong answer message for right answer so it's not available for the checkbox type uh, uh, question answers but for rest of them you can use this or avail this uh, feature next is a uh, note text uh, so basically you can add a note also so these are quite interesting features uh, which are there which uh, again we did not uh, see in the uh, previous one uh, or uh, the previous plugins uh, that we examined okay now i'll just uh, click on save and close okay and i'll just uh, refresh uh, uh, this page i'll just click on add questions so here i'm not able to see the question because i'll require to refresh the page um, mainly because uh, these uh, this uh, these questions get uh, saved in the database since this is a different page obviously to make them appear here i'll have to refresh the page when you refresh the page you lose uh, your image or any other changes uh, that you have made so let me just add this image here okay i'll just use this image uh, description i'll give this is a gk quiz okay and then i'll add questions again here we can see all the questions that are there so i'll just select the three questions that have been added one is true and false uh, and uh, the other two are radio radio button time now i'll just click on select questions now here uh, the questions have been added i can uh, uh, save this so it's always good to save your quiz if you want to refresh maybe you can save it and then refresh it so that you don't lose out on the image or anything that you have added there next uh, we are looking at style so these are the styles which are available so uh, rect light uh, rect dark uh, okay classic dark elegant elegant dark so these are uh, classic light so uh, these are uh, some of the themes that you can select uh, modern light modern dark will come up with a pro version so you cannot uh, get with a normal version which is there okay so uh, this is something uh, which you can see you can have the quiz effect uh, do you want it to be a fade effect do you want it to be a shake effect shake effect is basically the questions will come in shake uh, this way you can choose the button a quiz color okay text color all these color settings you can do here you can uh, decide the width of the quiz uh, the maximum width on the mobile so these are some css options uh, which uh, come in so you can uh, select uh, those options you can add a background image as well let me just show you a sample here okay so media library is taking time to load so let's skip that so if you're adding a background image the questions will have that background image so you can use it as a custom uh, background image if you want you need to make sure that the text is visible so if you have a dark text uh, a black color text you need to have a light color background image and so on and so forth okay <clears throat> next is a button where do you want it to be left right center what whatever options you want you can select a bar progress you can have a rounded bar progress you can have a with strips uh, okay with strips and animation so basically the bar progress uh, can be as per whatever options you want so this is again a good option and uh, not uh, uh, not available in many of the plugins uh, which we have seen in the past font size options here question alignment do you want it to be on the left hand side center right hand side answer borders so what what color border do you want to give to the answers and so on and so forth now answer image height so basically uh, there are pro versions and uh, here you can uh, select a few more options which are there right wrong answer so 
this is uh, the icons I like you can select from the icons which are given here uh, so you can just change it to any of those which you like so I like to keep it simple so I'll just select the first icons itself uh, bottom style uh, bottom style do you want it to be bottom size to be button size to be large medium or whatever so I'll, I prefer to make it large because it's call to action button and uh, there are other options which are there and here if you know some CSS you can add advanced CSS options as well here so basically uh, this is the styling of the quiz next is the setting we can look at the setting show title show description enable auto start this comes in the pro version enable random answers yes randomize the question yes so this good option to randomize uh, uh, stuff uh, so that the, the user can retake the quiz and will not be seeing the same option enable question bank okay if you're enabling question bank this is one, one of the good options you can select the uh, question bank based on uh, the category if you're going with the pro version otherwise you can just uh, select general and you can give it a question count here so randomly the system will pick up questions from the question of all the questions that you have mentioned and from there it will keep uh, showing the question to the user so this is also a very good option in my opinion where you don't have to manually set the quiz but automatically your questions are getting set group questions uh, by category if you want to do that I've not set any category so I'll not do that but you can do that enable navigation bar again with the pro version question count per question uh, pro version this comes with a, a pro version display all the questions on one page if you don't like pagination you can have them all in one page itself show answer counter okay right to left uh, direction uh, this is again uh, totally up to you enable copy protection again pro version make questions required so if you don't want to users to skip the question you required to go with the pro version show correct answers yes you can have the correct answers uh, shown so uh, display the duration right wrong in seconds so or how many seconds for how many seconds should it show the correct or the wrong answer okay and uh, if you want to finish the quiz after one wrong answer you can do that as well so i'll just uncheck this option let's just uh, take it in the normal uh, flow show message for right and wrong so during the question on the result page so basically on the result page if you want you can do it during the quiz as well show question explanation okay show past uh, user count uh, okay show average rate what's the average rate uh, let me just have a look at the average rate so the average rate of the quiz it will show the at the bottom of the page of the game okay so if you want we can enable this uh, as well show quiz author date category all these details if you want we can keep it that icon enable finish button clear answer option this could be enabled enable go to next by pressing uh, enter okay now this is an interesting option enable timer okay so many a times you want uh, the user to finish the quiz in a specific uh, set of time so uh, after the timer finish counting the quiz will be submitted automatically okay this is going to be of 100 seconds this is good we can keep it off 120 seconds so one minute quiz before after so you can have all the turn on warning okay this is really good quiz plugin so basically it has got most of the options which uh, you want as a quiz owner the only thing is uh, if you want to set custom marking or if you want to set negative marking you will have to go with a pro version for this you can also set enable background music sound for okay enable audio autoplay schedule the quiz you can schedule the quiz as well okay uh, questions numbering you want uh, to add the numbering to the questions you can do that uh, answer numbering if you want to add numbering to the answers you can do that it, it's good to have those things uh, change the current quiz creation date change the author to the of the current quiz so basically you can enable full screen mode so this option you can enable it here result setting uh, so we can look at uh, the results uh, setting so by waypoints or by correctness so basically you'll have to go with the correctness only uh, because uh, in the pro version you will be able to do it by points and all redirect after submission if you want to send them to your course page or something else you can do that after submission enable exit button hide score if you want to hide score you can do that display score by percentage by correct answer count so you can do that okay and uh, 
शो सोशल बटन लिंक्स सो शेयर ऑन सोशल मीडिया इज देयर क्विज लोडर इज अ ऑप्शन टू सिलेक्ट द क्विज लोडर आल्सो एंड लास्ट इज रिजल्ट मैसेज इज आल्सो देयर रिजल्ट मैसेजेस लाइक जनरल मैसेज पासिंग परसेंटेज क्विज पास मैसेज फेल मैसेज ओके डिस्प्ले द डेटा स्टोरिंग इन डेटाबेस ओके डिसेबल ओके सो बेसिकली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टोर पीपल who have submitted the quiz and all okay here there is an interesting interval by points by okay so basically this is the interval given here but again available only in the pro version which is there a uh, limitation of the users limit uh, users if you want you can set the limitations to the attempt count and all those details can be done okay a uh, user data okay information form title you can capture the user data by creating the form here okay mm -hmm. for creating custom fields you'll re require to go with a uh, before the quiz or after the quiz you can go with that if you want to add more details you'll require to go with a pro version email and certification this is again as i expected this will be in the pro version only so this entire feature is available in the pro version okay integration you can integrate mailchimp paypal etc but again that is available only with the pro version okay uh, yeah google form is also with the pro version so that's it our quiz is set uh, let me just save this save and close okay we are done this is the short code of the quiz we can copy it we can uh, create a new page perhaps and uh, let me just create a new page okay so we'll add a new page we'll copy the short code here i'll just name this page testing i'll just publish it okay so the page has been published i'll click on view page so here we can see our quiz is ready the image is there we have got a average rating here also which is coming down there number of people who have taken the quiz i can just click on start and uh, since we had selected the move part uh, uh, you know the uh, shake part uh, the question is coming in the shake form and uh, there's a timer here so now i put one image i did identify the image in the uh, you know animal in the image sorry and uh, it's a very difficult question let me guess maybe it's an elephant okay so it shows me green there okay it's correct uh, is it peacock let me just deliberately answer this as wrong and i can just go to the next one what is the capital of india let me put it as delhi and i'll just click on finish now it's asking me my details i'll just uh, enter my details um i'll just add a fake number here I'll just click on see results and here we go so it says your score is 66% overall uh, average score is 0% average score means the people number of people who have given the score and they've got a specific score so this was correct this was false and this correct so overall this is a really good uh, quiz we get the data of the students people who are you know answering the quiz and uh, overall it's it's a very nice uh, mechanism also i like the comprehensiveness of this uh, quiz plugin and i hope uh, uh, this uh, video was useful to you you also like this plugin you can try it out and uh, do comment if you have any questions or doubts uh, with regards to setting up the quiz on your wordpress website and i'll definitely be able to help you out hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel if you like the content and thanks for your time